Oh yes, hello all you wonderful people and welcome to Crossroads, a uh, early reworked version of Crossroads. There has been later iteration of this map here, but this is one of the earlier Master League iteration of Crossroads. Anywho, in the red we have Nico playing as the Oster and he's up against Incauna playing as the Soviets. Now, Nico, he has already logged in Jaeger Infantry Doctor, giving him access to um, this powerful anti-tank strafe, the uh, Jaeger Command Squad, and Camouflage. And then there's the G43 rifle and uh, light artillery barrage, but eh. Bulletins wise, for uh, Nico, it's just buffs for uh, the Grins. In Kauna, on the other hand, he's bringing along defensive tactics. Airborne troops and guard motor. And for his sake, well, on his side here, we see the bulletins, it's just buffs for the conscripts. Uh, any of the changes? Well, there's the side blocker here, as you can tell. And then this uh, concrete wall that used to be here is also gone. And then another bush has been added. This has been relocated as it would seem, closer to the middle of the road. So that's, and of course this, uh, well not garrison, but debris field has been moved from, well, somewhere around here to there. So yeah, there has been a couple of shots fired. Oh, look at this, a different build order from Nico. He is not going for well, he didn't go for an MG as one of his first things. Instead, just going for um, Grenadiers. And I haven't seen that be used effectively. And he's getting a fourth one. So perhaps he doesn't really care if he gets the Jaeger Command Squad or not. He'll probably get it if he loses or when he loses a Grenadier Squad. Hmm. I'm just curious what she's how he'll play the early game without his heavy machine gun. That's just that's pretty brutal. Trying to get a little bit of fuel down here. That's just combat engineers. He should be able to win that engagement, but more conscripts are on the way and looks like Nico is attempting to surround these few troops that are on his side of the map, but they are exiting right now. We are losing a oh, no, look at that. He was so close at getting the fuel. Hmm. Denied, said Inkauna. Uh, and now Nico, he's getting out his uh, heavy machine gun. Oh, that's hot. Early grenade package apparently by uh, Inkauna here. Turning up the heat. Well, I'm just thinking if uh, the map begins to stabilize a bit. So this side here will belong to Nico, while the other side, Inkauna. I know um, the guys behind the rework here are actually working on making crossroads uh, more... What are we supposed to call it? Yeah, vertically orient... No, not vertically orientated, or is it? Well, basically, they want people to engage from the sides rather from top to bottom and vice versa so that's what they're trying to accomplish just getting a little bit of green cover up and yes now we have it map has been pretty much stabilized one side belongs to one of the players and the others well belongs to the other part Getting a mid bunker up here. You don't need pioneers to build that. So good on Nico for doing that. Hmm. 
He is about to lose his fuel, though. Yeah, 12 conscripts here. There's no way the pioneers can hold that. And with only two, well, not two, but one grand squad. Yeah, well, at least the HMG here helped defend. But still, Nico. Oh, no. The Soviets are digging in. Here comes the gang. They'll try to stop it. Uh, well, they have their backs turned. Should be an easy kill. I wouldn't see it coming. Take aim, fire. Yeah, we just heard that Nico he got access to the Jaeger Light Infantry Command Squad. Meanwhile, the heavy machine gun here is just getting bullied. Inca Una is actually doing very well, but decides to leave his screen cover and move in here. And that's why he wanted to move in. Get in close, throw that the Molotov. Now falling back into green cover here to just to prolong the engagement and thus keeping uh, Nico off his fuel for longer and thus Inca Una continues to enjoy double fuel here. This is going to be very sweet for him. Anyway, Nico getting out the 2 to 2 that will hopefully help him push back these conscripts here. But in Kauna, he is already going for a Syscon. He knows something is up. Also... Oh, ho, ho. oh, Nico, you trickster. There we go. I heard the um, the rifle grenade click first. In Kauna did so, but rather than retreating, he just softly retreated them. And then, while doing so, Nico just cancelled the rifle grenade in time. So it wouldn't actually be fired, but the clicking sound did activate. So he tried to trick Inca Una to retreat his squad. But he didn't retreat, it just merely moved them out of cover for a brief period. Six versus four. Ooh. This is a uh, looking. Uh, yeah. Two men already off there, and these guys here, they'll also be forced to run away, lest uh, Nico risk losing another Grand Squad here. Uh... Oh boy. These guys here giving LMGs. 2 2 2 did take some engine damage, and the Pioneers are not in a position to help out. So the 2 2 is just standing there. That's a uh, 30 fuel parked due to the engine damage. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing there? Touching that dead body. <laughs> ah, they planted a tripwire flare mine thing. Trip mine. And yeah, well, LMG, despite being very powerful, oh, it's not really doing that much to these guys in, uh, in green cover. And they are, well, at best in light cover. I'm actually not sure if they actually benefit from the light cover due to the angle that the conscripts had on them. All right, pushing back here. Let's see what Nico can do. Oh, he's gonna be up against this garrison here. And Inca Una, despite not seeing the uh, 2 2 2, he's destroyed some of that natural green cover. Good play. Oh, the 2 2 2. Well, it's gonna have to deal with the sandbag before it can actually do some meaningful damage versus uh, the conscripts. Let's check in on the middle here. With the machine gun in place, the Grins have pushed out the conscripts, at least just for a brief moment, and they pop in to make sure that the building won't be occupied by the Grins. And we'll also getting a look. Yep, the HMG was in fact still there. Oh, trip flare mine was triggered. And well. Inca Una is actually doing a pretty good job of pressuring Nico on his side here rather than just uh, 
going for the usual talk of war play style where both players fight frantically over the middle but then again Nico he's also uh, not shying away from going over to his opponent's fuel and trying to grab it T7 is out now for Inca Una and yeah Nico doesn't have much oh the t70 made a mistake it just got into snare range that auto what oh he did have a pack gun i completely missed it good shot meanwhile the 222 is keeping the peace well so are. it's actually making a, a killing over here protecting uh, his fuel <sighs> And yeah, Nico, okay, he's got, he's got fuel flowing. That's more than we can say uh, for Inkauna. Granata! Oh, two versus three. Both of them equally. I think the Prince will win this one here. Yeah. Or will they? Oh, uh, yeah. Got a little too scary there. Well, I lost that bit. Well, T70 just getting its repairs done here and Hinka Una enjoying some T70 free time. Also see here that Nico is currently prioritizing the fuel rather than uh, VPs here. And well, it's not like he's low on VP, so it's fine, a good choice. It's not like the VPs are going anywhere, seeing as they're currently stalled. Hmm. Soviets are slowly encroaching here on the uh, Nikos territory. Anything else happening? Well, we got some escalation going on in uh, Nikos base, going up to battle phase two, and well, it's a little too early for uh, Inca Una to get down his armor. Uh, What's it called? Mechanized armor company. Yes. That's a little bit of fuel and the T-70 is reversing into action, allowing it to quickly escape if it <laughs> needs to. Also exposing its uh, rear armor to, the well, not to anything in particular right now, but the 222 can actually penetrate the T-7's rear armor quite reliably with its... Um, or cannon. Oh no! Going in the building again. Well, at least there's still some green cover for the Grenadiers to utilize. Though Heinrich here, he wasn't the brightest soldier and remains out in the open. Or not, apparently. Uh, can't tell. Well, that sand back there is almost completely wiped. Attack round, and it hits the wreck. Wop, wop, wop. So much for skill shots. Oh, field first aid. Those guys couldn't wait to get fully healed. They were healing on the move. German efficiency. However, they did run into a Maxim over here. Not so German efficiency. Well, the 222 is not quite within range. Well, to use its uh, machine gun on these guys here. Huh. Infantry awareness has been popped here by. Uh... Well, he knows something is sitting there. <laughs> oh and now he knows what it is it is indeed a sis gun so yeah the two to two just falling back it doesn't need uh, any heightened awareness to realize that it is actually being shot at by a at tank gun shot <laughs> whoops guys did you 
use uh, the correct rifle grenade because that did hardly anything even had low damage output i hear mortar oh inca una going for god motor and has brought out the 120 millimeter here bringing this mg nest to the ground well roughly it's condemned this building here don't use okay finally we see that uh, nico has managed to stabilize himself and get himself into a uh, position where he can well fight inca una on his own terms or at least better fight inca una on his own terms inca una is still keeping up the pressure here as he continues to make a push towards the fuel but Having uh, this heavy machine gun here, yeah, he should have his side over here quite well defended. And plus he's got the 2 to 2 highly mobile unit, just to swoop in and defend. Also the retreating that squad, uh, while sending in this, that must have been a misclick. Don't think he intended on retreating that squad. And, well... Back to the drawing board. Time to come up with the new plan. Now that he knows that uh, Nico is defending this side here with a heavy machine gun. But he does that himself. So, meh. Yeah. He's just admiring this little uh, pile of dirt. That's a nice pile of dirt, isn't it? Two, two, two. Just swoops on by here. And is, as you can see here, very good versus um, team weapons. Mm -mm -mm. Especially, uh, especially those with the firing arc, which is pretty much all the team weapons except for some mortars <laughs> i know the 120 millimeter has a uh, firing arc for reasons and i do also think it applies to other mortars but the firing arc is hidden because whenever you uh, say want to order a barrage behind the mortar then the mortar will have to reload turn around before it actually lobs the grenade i believe Oh, hello, Nico. You are awfully in deep enemy territory. Fortunately for Nico, no mines were planted there by Inca Una. Oh, oh my goodness. He was so close to being home safe. And then <clears throat> he found a penny. More of these uh, ambush camouflages are coming in. Yeah, ambush camouflage, not ambush. Cannot tell, ambush. Ambush, ambush. So it's just one grand squad that uh, lacks the ambush camouflage. Otherwise, every single uh, unit up here that can get it has been given the ambush camouflage and can't hit what you can't see unless you're using explosives and the like. Righty then. 120 millimeter helping out here in this little duel here of the machine guns time to go nico <laughs> moving strong field presence here from nico he wants that triple cap and looking at the vps now nico has actually taken over yeah he's taking the lead very good yeah it was a uh, rather hectic start for nico but he is making a killing right now oh mines have been spotted we are losing a sector. oh yeah t70 dead here lies the t70 we hardly knew you uh didn't actually get destroyed by uh, the panzer 4 when it 
poked its head in. Neither the uh, 222 has killed it. Yeah, the pack gun was indeed the culprit. It must have pushed up here and taken shots at it. But looks like in Kauna, weather the storm as his T-34 slash 85 is making its way onto the battlefield here at the, well, it's going to be at the 21 minute mark. So yeah, what uh, started so well for Inkauna, he's, he has two territories to him. Well, and then a VP for, yeah, no longer actually. <laughs> so, what's the plan, Stan? Looks like the guys here are just waiting for orders, getting healed up, and... Well, at least looking at them, their spirit hasn't been entirely crushed. Definitely not now that the arrival of the T-34, that ought to lift their spirit. Okay, reserve has been mobilized, allowing a, a ton of buffs for uh, the conscripts, including a faster fire rate while in cover and cheaper reinforcement, along with the extra man. But extra man or not, that first guy and second guy, ooh, right, so fast here. Triple uh, vetted grenadiers with LMGs have uh, so far killed four conscripts and only the conscripts have managed to kill one. Strafing run. Oh. And like magic, Nico takes down that. Uh, T-34 down to no health. Well, half health. So much for a uh, strong offensive here. And again, Inca Unes is just back in his space. Feeling, feeling a little bit of... Uh, well, my face went base locked. Absolutely disgusting. It was time for Inkauna to go. He had seen everything. Go outside, that is. He's, do you have a Siskon? There it is. Come on. I feel like Inkauna, he needs a win right about now. The 120 millimeter almost delivered. If he had, could have gotten a squad wipe there, that would have just what the doctor would have ordered if Inguna had a doctor on the battlefield well he has a field infirmary but no they're not doctors oh god I'm heavy machine gun covering this exit and Inguna now it looks like he has kicked out um, Nico well well, not entirely kicked out of his side of the map. He's still standing in the door opening here. Mark vehicle going in. Uh, Inkauna, he needs a win, but he's not getting it. And now he's gonna lose his T-44! It missed! It just missed! Oh, and the uh, rocket artillery here is actually <laughs> utilizing its main gun. <laughs> it's a machine gun, rather. Wop wop, back again. I hear rocket artillery. Where is it firing? Over here? Uh, it's in the middle. That is a good kill. Oh ho ho ho! You sneaky little bugger, you didn't get any kills. You're just trying to make yourself look better. Yeah, okay. That's been noted in your performance review there, buddy. And it's not looking good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 120 millimeter still sitting in base here up to six kills and Inkauna having fought his way out of the, the base here but man he has lost so many points the time he spent in the base and Nico he is not about to let Inkauna back into this match here not on his watch going over here trying to secure another VP and the fuel while the 2-2-2 two, two, two here going in against 
the weapon crew here and as we previously saw it is so good versus uh, weapon crew not so much uh, when it's actually sitting in front of the weapon crew as you can tell here it's actually taking quite a bit of damage but fortunately for it it does more damage than it actually takes and thus the 2 to 2 is now a mean killer he's gonna lose this one isn't he yeah but let's see if the t-34 can do something pp wise it's still in kahuna losing points and his fuel situation is rather bleak and yeah nico here he is he's on his way to getting out a panther he must be a panther is gonna do good versus the t-34 let's see reinforced battlefield is cheaper but we don't have anything I believe it's actually two manpower for each model you save, at least on the Grenadiers. A little bit of rocket artillery here to spice the thing up, you know. And this time around, the anti-tank uh, strafe missed its mark. However, over here, conscripts swooping in, utilizing brute force to kick back those grins. And they continue their push. The enemy is attempting to steal uh, that plane, down plane there, won't provide any green cover for the men. Just gonna push off these grins here as well. And Panther now on its way. Yeah. We are losing a sector. One VP has been neutralized. Second one here is about to be under Inkauna's rule, cutting uh, Nico off the fuel here. Man, I f yeah, I was just about to suggest that Inkauna should get out another AT gun to help him out here. At least he's getting uh, some fuel over there. Trying to distract the panzer 4 or leading on some sort of goose chase there we go fuel has been decapped and these guys here going for decapping the munitions but just took way too much damage and now panther arriving here for nico uh, just as in is sitting out 100 vps here Yeah, Nico just showing us why it is that he is number two when it comes to tournament play here. He's been reliably getting a second place in many tournaments. But Inca Una managed to get a, a couple of Grenadiers wiped uh, in a very short amount of time. As now Nico, he's sitting on one. Mark Target coming in here on the Panther. Is this Ingauna making a comeback? I think it is. Panzer 4 going over there. There is a Sis gun backing up the other Sis gun. And now the T-34 could potentially go in on this Panzer 4 here. Half health, 2-2-2, two, 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 strolling on by, trying to get some rear armor hits in. The Sis uh, gun here. Well, not that's the pack gun actually managed to get in a target light artillery light artillery is light artillery while it did a little bit of destruction nothing too serious harm was done to inca Una's men oh yeah nothing serious nothing serious well 43 points and inca Una has taken out couple of grins a panther he needs to work double time now in order to uh, uh secure these vps here i don't think he'll be able to get that heavy machine gun though but that one up there it's right for the picking uh if when it's not on fire <laughs> granata oh the 120 millimeter again close at getting a uh, wipe oh 
Oh my goodness, Nico loses yet another squad here. Inga Una has just been disassembling Nico as if he were furniture from Ikea. That... I'm just thinking here, would be calling somebody furniture from Ikea, would that be an insult? Nah, it would be a weird insult. Very weird. Let's go with it. Uh, depends on the, the context if it's a uh, insult or not. You IKEA furniture! We are losing a sector. With a machine gun falling back here. Close to victory. Yeah, well, when you're looking at the VPs. Yes, then Nico is getting pretty, pretty close, but his army composition leaves something to be desired in the infantry department. Whereas Inca Una's army composition leaves a lot to be desired in the armor department. 17 double capped. Not anymore, though. Tick tock. Oh, weak shot. We're getting shot. Step on it. Oh, the driver, he's still dizzy. One more shot will probably connect. Nope, misses. 12 points remaining. 11. New Panther on the field. This Panther 4 is being repaired so fast. Ura over there. And setting up sandbags here. He's sitting on eight points. This one here launches at a barrage, but Inca Una escapes death here. New T-34 on its way for Inca Una. That ought to even the playing field a little more. Tick tock, tick tock. Man, Inca Una, he needs a triple cap here in order to drain Nico fast of his VPs. Well, AT grenade connects, but not enough damage has been done prior on the Panzer IV to actually the <laughs> snare it. And double miss from the cis guns here. Oh, not what you want to see in a situation like this, where Inca Una is pretty stressed when it comes to uh, the whole VP situation. Mind sweeping gang is over here. Trying to get some uh, control over one of the victory points. Panther reveals itself and the Sis guns quickly change his direction. Oh, oh, are we gonna see a marked target here? We could potentially see it or not. Yep, there it is. There it is. Bounce, miss, uh, and loses his Sis gun. Ooh! Needs to be a little careful here. Oh, he's walking into the firing ray arc. At least he's got a maximum on this one here suppressing it. No, oh, we lost the 2-2-2. Minor losses for Nico, but Inca Una, he needs every single win that he can get. That's four coming in here. Oh, misses the broadside of this house. Probably target the... Uh, this is gone instead. Here comes artillery. Still one this gun going. Bounce, miss. Suppressed. Nico, he's added over here, trying to get that. This is still marked. At least for a couple of more seconds. The GC 34s here are poised to go in. Looks like. Yeah, that's one uh, dead this gun. One this gun in position. So is the pack gun here, really. Ah, uh, trying to repair. Uh, pretty much in combat risky business and this is gun here trying to get a ish clear line of sight here on the panther inca una this is an opportunity that he cannot afford to miss out on come on there goes the panther now the p4 badly damaged t34 even more badly damaged and there's the pack will the sis get a shot in bounce um, 
situation for Inka. Una he's getting pretty close to another T-34 and now Nico he's spitting out grins and this Panzer IV here is again getting its repairs done rapidly we have a fresh grenadier squad fresh grenadier Inka Una still doesn't have the the manpower to push out a tank of his own Roll. At least Inkahuna manages to get Nico down below half of his VPs. Six men here. They are not in cover, so they do not benefit from uh, the uh, mobilized reserve here. Okay, now they are. Lots of men coming in here. Panzer IV. Ooh, takes another good hit as it now has reached ace levels. Siskon fully reinforced getting healed where is, oh my god oh my god that's scatter that's scatter that's oh my god that's five men dead well one vp is going into the hands of nico sitting on 200 points yeah, not much these conscripts can do against the Panzer IV. And thus, the Panzer IV goes in, clears the way for the Grins to get the VPs, I think. This is over for Inkauna as a triple cap is about to hit. He needs to work super fast. Seven. Oh boy, yeah, that's a double cap coming in. He stops this, but... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, he has nothing. He has nothing. Well, no, he. If this is over. Game over. Inca Una takes a loss. Whoa. Inca Una came back with the vengeance, but it just wasn't enough for him. Anyway... That's it for this time, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you did. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And I'll see you next time. So long. And if you're still watching, I got some numbers for you. If you want to look at the stats, here they are. In all their glory, as we can see. Nico just starting to dominate. And then Inkauna came back with the vengeance. And then the vengeance was lost. Resource float for the players, points health, good start for Inkauna, but then Nico came back and then he dug in, <laughs> yeah, squats for Nico. And let's just watch Inkauna here and his units. So, yeah, that'll be all. See you later, alligator. Goodbye.